today is Monday, February 5th. My name is Mohammed, and also with me are Freddie, Brenna, Violet. We are your news team for the Nightly News. First, please stand for the flag of allegiance. I pledge Thank you. Here are the announcements. We have Readathon wrap up rally today at 2:20 p.m. We are excited that are you excited that we hear the results? Do we make our gold? Will Miss Caruso do the principal challenge? So many questions that will be answered at the rally. It's going to be so fun. But remember, we're there to learn, so be respectful, responsible, and safe. Pizza with the principal is at 11.30 a.m. Congrats on our most recent kind kid and the night no drawing winners, which was drawn at the rally last week. Next, we have some after school classes this week. Chess club and robotics meet after school on Monday and the solar robotics and machine clubs meet after school on Wednesday. Have a great time. Also, if you're the girl in Grades three, four, or five, and are interested in doing spring season girls on the run, applications are due on February 7th. Financial ed is available. Finally, a reminder that is no school on Friday, February 9th. Teachers will be using this day for professional development and grading. That's right. It's almost a, it's almost report card time. Enjoy your three day weekend. That's all for the announcements. Now it's time for the lunch menu. Here's the lunch menu for this week. On Monday, it's cheese enchilada with steamed broccoli, seasoned black beans, and Johnny and Johnny Pop. For Tuesday, there will be mandarin orange chicken or general so chicken. With brown rice, parmesan, edama, edamame, and and chocolate <laughs> chip cookie. On Wednesday, we will have mini pancakes with chicken sausage and tater tots. Finally, for Thursday, look for rotini with meatballs and, or rotini with spaghetti sauce and steamed green beans. Remember, there is no school on Friday, so we have no lunch. For, to report for that day. I'm looking forward to um, Monday's lunch. What about you guys? I'm looking forward to Tuesday's lunch because I like orange chicken. I'm looking forward to my home lunch. Home lunch. It is now time for the weather. After a crazy warm week last week and a taste of spring, we're still looking at warm weather this week. Just maybe not as warm as last week. Highs will be in the 40s. Towards the end of the week, there looks to be a possible change in the weather pattern. We may see some rain and cooler temperatures move in as we get to the weekend. Thank you, Brenna. It's time to check on the top stories. Let's take a look. Hi, my name is Brenna, and here with me today is... Maddie. And Maddie has finished the 20 Book Club Challenge. Maddie, how do you feel? Um, it feels nice to be done, but I, at the same time, I really liked reading all those books. What was your favorite book? Um, probably A Place to Hang the Moon. Okay, and what was your least favorite book? White Bird. Thank you.
Hi, my name is Violet. I'm here with today with Miss Messenger. Today we're going to be talking about the share table. Now, what is the share table exactly? It's a table we have set up for any food that's from school that you cannot eat because you're too full, and you can bring over here and put on this table. I have a basket just for peanut butter and jellies. This is the only thing the peanut butter and jellies go in due to allergies. All the rest of the food that you donate can go in this container, and it can only be food that has not been opened, prepackaged and not open. That includes a milk. You can put milk in here, too, if you do not drink it. If you're not hungry, can you put stuff in there from your school lunch? Yes. How about home lunch? Home lunches cannot go over here. Only school food from school. Now, who is the share table for? It's only for the kids. No adults can take from the share table. Finally, today's our time to, for a think and laugh segment. Let's take a look. Hi, my name is Freddie, and here with me today is... Tanner. And he has a joke of the week. Why couldn't the bicycle get up? Why? Because it was too tired. That's all for this edition of the Nightly News. We hope you have a great week. And remember, be at night and do things right. Bye.